Hello, this is a video about calculating measures of central tendency. In the large data set, find the mean and median of the data set. So this would be a painful data set to have to type into Google Sheets. So my advice is to <clears throat> go to the question itself and highlight your data values. and copy them into an Excel document. So copy them into Microsoft Excel or whatever your spreadsheet software might be. <clears throat> then what you wanna do is you can either move the data over to Google Sheets column by column, or you could actually just go ahead and move everything to one column and then move it to Google Sheets. So it really doesn't matter to me what you do. We're going to go ahead and move everything to one column right now. All right, let's move column D. So I'm just literally cutting and pasting all into one column. Trust me, this is much nicer than having to type everything into Google Sheets manually. And then my last thing I'm going to do is just put the last three remaining columns into one column and move that huge column over. So pretty much I'm just kind of tricking the system a little bit right now. <clears throat> I should believe we should have 70 data values, so let's check that. That is correct, we have 70 data values. So now I'll go ahead and highlight this entire column and copy it. And let's go to Google Sheets. In Google Sheets, we go to the one variable stats tab and we are gonna paste this data in cell A1. Now give it some time. That is a lot of data to paste. All right, so now that we've given it some time, the, median, the mean is 75.42, the median is 74.5. So in this case, the mean is 75.42 and the median is 74.5. So that is how to find the mean and the median of a very, very large data set. Thanks for watching.